I told you the other day I've been watching that. Um, he's a driving instructor called Ash Ashley Neal. Um, <clears throat> it does make you question your own driving. How you react to other people's stupidity. It's very, it's quite enlightening actually. And then when you get in your car, you you do too much. I do, I do bad. It's not a good thing to do. Hi everyone. Welcome to Drive and Fail Thirty Six. We've just heard one of my viewers discussing my channel that he watches. And just think of the coincidence that only 15 seconds further up the carriageway, he's encountering a car coming in the opposite direction. Yeah. I think for everybody else. What the hell? File protected. Can you believe that? Can you actually believe that? There's me talking about this, um, what's his name? Ashley Neal. And you, you I get that. I can't believe that I've just seen that. <laughs> that was incredible. This is a viewer's clip from Denmark. And it's the classic way that you're going to get tagged at a set of traffic lights. It involves moving, then stopping again when someone is on the phone behind. But I was only in a queue at traffic lights, officer. I wouldn't call my viewer deluded, but there's definitely blame on their part. How much blame? I'm going to let you decide. Please let me know in the comments. For me, there's a big difference from being positive to being aggressive. The driver of the white vehicle in front spots the lorry driver really early. Brilliant. And then does this. And um, eventually I found this one, a specialist up north and did that thing that you have to do if you're buying a car online remotely in good faith where you get a one-way train ticket. Far in the distance there's a van doing a U-turn. If you're in the market for a dash cam, even as a present leading up to Christmas, please check out the links in the description, and then you'll be able to capture moments like this. That was close. There's also links for camera systems for cyclists, motorcyclists and horse riders. If you use the code Ashley Neal at checkout, you'll get a further 5% off already competitive prices. Please help support the channel. It's the vehicle in front that we're watching with this clip and their complete lack of understanding what signs mean. Perhaps they didn't see the no entry. But it's more than likely they just didn't care. Just in case you didn't know, if you're driving a motor vehicle and you intend to turn left and there's a cyclist that wishes to proceed ahead, you need to give that cyclist priority. Even though you're warm, dry and pretty safe in your metal box. Riding on the pavement is not classed as filtering.
which vehicle is going to do the dangerous overtake in this clip. That truck's not going to be able to overtake that. Uh, yeah. That's that. Yeah. Just a chill. There's a lay-by up. I think there's a lay-by pretty soon. But dude, if he's feeling generous, he might follow him. Oh my god. Oh my god. I bet you didn't expect that one. This lorry driver needed to be much more careful than this in heavy traffic. They did hit the Mercedes. Personally, I think it's the lack of policing that have made incidents like this much more common. Please let me know what you think. Watch out! It's the vehicle in front that we're watching, and I actually think this one's quite amusing on how bad their observations are. My viewer nicely works out the silver car's broken down and lets the lorry out, but have a look at our friend to the left. How long do you think it's going to take them? The lorry's just obviously overtaken and gone back to lane one. The silver car in front's got hazards on, and my viewer is leaving a massive space, so this one to the left can get out. I think the penny's dropping. There's the reverse lights on. They've worked it out eventually. It is truly shocking how little attention some motorists pay when they're using the roads. Anyway, it made a good clip, so thanks a lot for sending in. The markings have just told us that this left lane is the only one that turns left. And you can probably guess what's going to happen next. Another way of telling that vehicles are going to want to get in front of you is if they use these cycle areas. They obviously shouldn't. These are for cyclists to get ahead and be seen. But when someone does pull in, like this, you know what's going on. The irony of the driver to the right also buying a super safe SUV, so when they hit people, they probably won't be injured. In my opinion, it's about time we had a national crackdown on people using these advanced cycle areas. It's wrong. How's this clip for bad parking? Look at the bus on the right. I'd like to add great care by my viewer. If you can't see there's anyone there, you need to show that caution. Well done. In this clip, my viewer does not need to use the horn in the way that they did. It was pure retribution. Just remember, we're all human. We all make mistakes. Try and make things easier, not harder. This clip's from close to me, the M57, and it's that white BMW that we're going to be watching closely. This is the junction where the M57 meets the M62, Tarbuck Island it's called, and it's a little complicated but it's actually not too bad. But it definitely catches out that BMW driver. The brake lights are the first warning sign. And even though the gantries are placed above the motorway for the last mile showing the different directions, they still get it wrong and dive over at the last minute. But they haven't finished yet. Again, it's another good job by my viewer keeping out of danger. Some more motorway madness. When vehicles are driven this erratically, give them a massive wide berth. They're probably stolen. It's also a good idea not just to be concentrating on that vehicle that's just gone past. There could be police chasing shortly, so give yourself plenty of room to think about what's going on. My viewer was way too close to this Toyota in front, 
especially with what looks to be a little bit of afters with the other black SUV further up on the carriageway. In case you forgot the message about motorists turning left having to give way to cyclists going straight on, here's another example. To finish, we've got a collision, unfortunately, which left me shaking my head in disbelief. What do you think? The driver of the silver car saw the red car driver had their eyes closed and fancied some compo. That's what I'm going with. Keep safe, everyone. I'll see you soon.